coming on. I'm physically, I'm, I'm really coming on. I'm far fitter than I was. I'm tired. I'm sore. Um, but that's the game. That's what I chose. This, you know, there's no point in moaning or groaning. Feel the, the effects when I when I train. I don't see the effects as much because I'm going through the change, and the body needs its own time to get itself uh, back to where it should be. My speed is increasing. My my power is increasing. My reaction speed is increasing. Uh, my spar. I'm very happy with how I sparred there recently at the nationals at the national squad session, and I know there's an awful lot more to come. Probably 25 to 30 percent more to come. And what with 12 weeks out, that's. Th I, I'm happy with that. I mean, we do VO2 max tests on our guys. We do the slow twitch, fast, fast twitch muscle analysis with the Irish Institute of Sport. Um, so it's, it's very scientific now because the sport has evolved so much that the difference between your gold medalist and your 10th place person is a very small level. I would have met Liam back mid 80s at tournaments. Yeah. And he was as mad as I had it then as he is now. Liam has kind of migrated through most of the martial arts and now he's in his, in, his, in his heyday, he's come back to the kickboxing. He's working in the veteran section, doing really, really well. I'm very proud of him. I train hard. I rest. I eat well. Um, I focus. I do my meditation. Uh, and I don't take myself too seriously still. That's what keeps me uh, in the game. That was when I started looking at um, what do I put together? What do I, do, do I, do I include in my programme? What do I leave out? And no regrets. You see, here's what can happen. You get closer you get, particularly if you go sparring, it doesn't go well for you that day. You go to a tournament, you go, oh, feck, you know, I should put this in, I should put that in. This is the time for making all those decisions. Once those decisions are made, no regrets. <laughs> Obviously, um, there, there are other things that would come before training. Your grandchildren come, you've got to play with them. If I have had um, a new grandson, which is my, our second grandchild, uh, Ryan, so another new piece of life came into the world. And that was wonderful, so you've got to take time out for that, to be with my daughter, to be with her partner, to be with Jacqueline. But also a dear friend of mine passed away much, much too early. A very well-loved, uh, well-liked individual. We, we, we miss them. So, you know, you have to take stock of this that life comes and goes. Uh, that, for the period of that week, training did drop. On top of this, then I'm 25 years married to, to my best friend. <laughs> so, commiserations to Jacqueline. <laughs> Liam has mellowed. He's, he's more responsive to people and he, 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 he's more humble. Yeah, far more humble than he used to be. So he, he acknowledges people's support and he acknowledges others. And uh, that's a good thing. That's a good thing in a man. If I thought that my family, my social, my life wasn't enhanced by this, I wouldn't do it. Therein lies the true price. Anything else is just pedantic, it's plastic. If, you, if your family and those around you are not benefiting from your efforts and your, your outcome, you need to reflect on what's going on. Fine, I can understand there's, you know, there is a period of time that someone has to put effort in to achieve something. You know, you've got to make a business, you've got to win something, you've got to go from A to B. There are sacrifices to be made and there might not be good times. But if, you know, if this whole journey, particularly at my age, were to take from the lovely life that I, that people that I have around me, and if I couldn't enhance them with these efforts, I wouldn't do it. The outcome is a bonus. If I win, I win. If I don't, fine. I will do my best to be win. I'll be mentally prepared and stay focused so I can win to do my very best. The journey is fantastic.